Good day everyone, I'm Carla Jean G. Akot. Publication means complete publication and that publication must be made forthwith the official gazette. This was emphasized in the case of Lorenzo M. Taniada et al. versus Honorable Juan C. Tovera et al. 146 Scra 446 decided on December 29, 1986. The process was invoked by petitioners in demanding the disclosure of a number of presidential decrees which they claimed had not been published as required by law. The respondent argued that while publication was necessary as a rule, it was not so when it was otherwise provided as when the decrees themselves declared that they were to become effective and immediately upon their approval. In the decision of this case on April 24, 1985, the court affirmed the necessity for the publication to the official gazette all unpublished presidential issuances which are of general application and unless so published they shall have no binding force and effect the petitioners are now before us again this time to move a motion for reconsideration the petitioners suggest that there should be no distinction between laws of general applicability and those which are not that publication means complete publication and that the publication must be made forthwith the official gazette the issues of this case are the following number one whether or not a distinction be made between laws of general applicability for example presidential decrees and laws which are not as to their publication for its effectivity as covered by the provisions of article 2 of the new civil code and second whether or not a publication shall be made in publications of general circulation for the rulings of this case the court ruled that no all statutes, including those of all local application and private laws, shall be published as a condition for their effectivity, which shall begin 15 days after publication unless a different effectivity date is fixed by the legislature. Covered by these rules are presidential decrees which is undeniably of general applicability and interest and executive orders promulgated by the President. Administrative rules and regulations must also be published if their purpose is to enforce or implement existing law pursuant also to a valid delegation. The term laws should refer to all laws and not only to those of general application. For strictly speaking, all laws related to the people in general, albeit there are some that do not apply to them directly. A law without any bearing on the public would be invalid as an intrusion of privacy or as class legislation or as an ultra virus act of the legislature. To be valid, the law must invariably affect the public interest even if it might be directly applicable only to one individual or some of the people only and not to the public as a whole. And then the second issue, the court ruled that no, during this time, the trouble is that publication in a newspaper of general circulation is not the one required or authorized by existing law. There was still no amendment made of Article 2 of the Civil Code. A point recognized by the Supreme Court is their observation that there is much to be said of the view that the publication need not be made in the official gazette considering its erratic releases and limited readership. Undoubtedly, newspapers of general circulation could better perform the function of communicating the loss to the people as such periodicals are more easily available, have a wider readership, and come out regularly. Thus, they had no choice but to pronounce that under Article 2 of the Civil Code, the publication of loss must be made in the official gazette and not elsewhere, as a requirement for their effectivity after 15 days from such publication or after a different period provided by the legislature.